The Naglamir, also known as the Necklace of the Dwarves, is a notable artifact within J.R.R. Tolkien's Middle-Earth Legendarium. Renowned for its exquisite craftsmanship and the tragic events surrounding it, the Naglamir is a symbol of dwarven artistry and the complex interplay of fate and desire in Tolkien's world. This article explores the origins, history, and significance of the Naglamir, shedding light on its role in the broader narrative of the Silmarillion and the Lord of the Rings. The Naglamir was created by the dwarves of Nograd, renowned for their exceptional skill in crafting jewelry and other treasures. The necklace was fashioned in the First Age, and it became one of the most beautiful and coveted pieces of jewelry in Middle-earth. It was adorned with precious gems, including one of the Silmarils, which were the most radiant and sought-after jewels in existence. The history of the Naglamir is closely tied to the fate of the Silmarils. After the theft of the Silmarils by Morgoth, the Dark Lord, the jewels became objects of intense desire and conflict. The Naglamir's connection to the Silmaril began when the dwarves of Nograd, under the leadership of their king, created the necklace and set one of the Silmarils into its design. The dwarves, proud of their creation, hoped to gain favor and wealth through their masterpiece. The necklace came into the possession of the elven king Thingol of Doriath, who had previously been gifted a Silmaril by Baron and Luthien. Thingol, desiring to add the Silmaril to the Naglamir, persuaded the dwarves to incorporate it into their necklace. The result was a creation of unparalleled beauty, but it also set the stage for tragedy. The elves and dwarves, despite their initial camaraderie, became embroiled in conflict over the necklace and the Silmaril it contained. The tale of the Naglamir is marked by conflict and bloodshed, the dwarves, feeling cheated and disrespected, demanded the return of their creation. Their greed and anger led to the kinslaying at Doriath, where the dwarves were slain by the elves. This conflict resulted in the loss of the Naglamir, which was later recovered by the surviving dwarves. The necklace's subsequent fate was no less tragic. The Naglamir eventually came into the possession of the elven king, Thingol's heir, who sought to use it as a symbol of his own claim to power and prestige. However, the necklace continued to be a source of strife and misfortune, reflecting the broader themes of greed and the destructive nature of desire in Tolkien's mythology. The Naglamir story serves as a poignant reminder of the intricate relationships between different races and the consequences of their interactions. It symbolizes the beauty and complexity of dwarven craftsmanship and the often tragic outcomes that arise from the pursuit of power and prestige. In summary, the Naglamir is a significant artifact in Tolkien's Middle-earth, embodying both the artistic achievements of the dwarves and the tragic consequences of greed and conflict. Its creation, its association with the Silmarils, and the strife it caused all contribute to its place in the rich tapestry of Tolkien's legendarium. The necklace stands as a testament to the beauty and the dark side of desire in the world of Middle-earth.